Hey everyone, it's very bright and I don't have any sunglasses on me, but check out the view here. Check out the scenery. Beautiful. This is Portugal. I'm gonna take a sit down. You know, so many people who inquire to work with me or I see ask questions on these non-duality Q&As that people put on report this fear, this anxiety. And so let's take a look at what this is really made of. You have this open spaciousness of awareness, right? In which your whole life unfolds, as it were. You have this open spaciousness of awareness in which thoughts, feelings, sensations, and perceptions appear. And if you really look at this fear, what constitutes this fear? There is this awareness, and then within this awareness appears these fearful thoughts, a story about an undesirable future, a terrifying future, and these sensations in the body, uncomfortable sensations in the body. Is there anything more to the fear than that? I'm not trying to minimize it. I'm not trying to downplay it. I'm just saying, when we really look at our experience, there's these fearful thoughts in the mind which appear as an object in awareness and these physical sensations in the body which appear as objects in awareness and you are this awareness in which these thoughts and feelings appear. Now drop down from the thoughts for a moment and Give some attention to the sensations. Give some attention to the felt sense of the body. Where in the body can you actually feel this fear? You might feel some tightness or density or tension in the chest or some density in the face or some kind of jittery electrical feeling in the body somewhere. Take away all those mental conceptual labels for a moment and just go to the raw sensation. Just see the raw sensation as these vibrations hanging in space, hanging in this open spaciousness of awareness. Remove all concepts about whether or not they're disturbing, uncomfortable, even though they may well be. Take all those mental concepts away and just really be with the raw, physical, felt sensation. We're talking about feelings, emotions here, but not some abstract woo-woo fluffy thing. This is real, physical sensation. Go to that interoceptive sense. Go to that somatic landscape with your attention and really feel where this fear is in the body. And be with that raw physical sensation. Allow the thoughts to do what they're going to do. You see, this raw physical sensation appears in this awareness, in this open spaciousness, like vibrations hanging in space. And you are this spaciousness, you are this awareness at the deeper level, you are the space or awareness that gives life to these sensations. 
these sensations depend on this spaciousness or awareness. Imagine that they're appearing in a space, but see that the space is undisturbed by these sensations. Imagine that there are disturbances playing out on a screen, but see that the screen is undisturbed by the seeming disturbances. There is this screen of awareness on which or as which this apparent disturbance is playing out. But the space or the screen or the awareness is untouched, is undisturbed by these physical felt sensations, however intense they are. If you have a movie and there's all kinds of explosions going off, perhaps a nuclear bomb exploding, it's never going to crack, smash or disturb the screen in any way. If a fire was to rip through a room, the space of the room would remain undisturbed. You are this space, you are this awareness, you are this screen, this substratum at the deeper level as which the form is appearing, including these intense sensations in the body. So just be knowingly the screen, be knowingly the space, be knowingly yourself deeper self as this awareness, this undisturbable substratum as which these physical sensations appear. And breathe. See that the spaciousness that you are, that the screen of awareness that you are at the deeper level is undisturbed, is unharmed by this physical sensation that corresponds to what we're calling fear. Now there are so many things that you can do in the sense of, you know, on the level of the person. The person can go through different thoughts and beliefs and memories and ideas and conversations and concepts that link to emotional energy in the body and bring it to the surface so that it can be dissolved in the light of awareness. And, on the level of the body, bringing the nervous system into states of calm through physical tools and practices. But the foundation is knowing yourself as the deeper self. The foundation is knowing yourself as the spaciousness of awareness as which this fear appears and knowing the deeper part of yourself to be timeless and undisturbed. Hope this video helped. Peace.